Incremental greetings. Welcome to the Super Memo course the Plagiable expansion. Now it's time for now it's time for the menus. A file doesn't cover this explicitly. But if I go to my collection, you will see that when I right click here, I get a menu. This is the element menu. Why? Because I'm in the element window, basically, and this is the element being rendered. So if I click here, I get the same as here, pam pam pam. If I click on the text, hey, this menu is different. Because this is what is called a component. No worries about that now. And if I click in the cottons window, in the knowledge tree, I get a, whoop, a yet a different menu. You have all of them as well here. Uh, you can go to in the element window, you go to the edit option in the toolbar, and menus. There's the element menu, which is accessible with Alt F10. We have the element menu that is accessible with Alt F10. It's this. By the way, if you happen that you have a lot of components that is very cramped, you cannot right click in the space area because there's no space left. The shift option is here. Here it says the title of the collection, you right click, and this will is guaranteed it will work. Then Alt Alt F10 and the same thing. It just happened that it's on the corner, but it's the same menu. Next is component. Alt F2 N. Alt F12. If you trigger this, it will be the first one, according to the component order. We will tackle this in detail next time. But let's say I want the image, I right click on the image and I have the component and in this case the menu is different because it's a different component type. Again, we will see the details later. And last but not least, we have the contents. It's the same effect if I, let me do it now. It's the same effect that if I manually travel there with my mouse and I right click, same thing. This is especially useful if you want a keyboard, keyboard first flow. So you rely on the mouse to the least or absolutely never. And then you have registry. That in, th in this case doesn't work because it depends on the, um, on the context. No worries about this. So remember, you have all of those menus. Special indicated, eventually, if you want to take to the next, super memo to the next level and you want to have auto hotkey scripts which they will have key bindings that are sent automatically you simulate this that means that you can simulate go to here edit tan tan so it's a lot easier to to make all of this succession of actions in a programmatically way so you don't have to do much of the work. I only press one key and this navigates the menus and so on. Why? Because Super Memo is horrible in this aspect. A lot of clicking, a ter terrible job in the user interface. So how you can minimize the friction without the hotkey? If you really want to dig further, I suggest watching my videos about auto hotkey but nothing to worry about now. I would suggest first finish the entire course, then if you want, uh, do your own uh, scripts. But I, I wanted to still make this on this, to mention this on the course, because it's very likely you eventually want to, uh, uh, to do that. So th those are all, all of the menus you need to know. See you in the next video.